Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we got our sword tempered. So now we have the red sword. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and go to the Ice Palace. Yay! And I already got some potions and stuff. So, I'm totally ready for this one. Now, the next palace is over here. But first, before we go into the Dark World, we are going to stop at the Pond of Happiness because I really want to get some more bombs. I don't think that I'll need any more bombs, but this is just to be safe. So, let's go ahead and drop all our rupees into the fountain. S and yes, I want to carry some more bombs. And I think you can actually carry up to 50, I think, but... I don't think we need that many. But anyway, the portal to the Dark World is, of course, right here. It's always marked by three bushes around a rock. At least from my observation. That's, a, that's how a lot of the portals are. But see, we are no longer in the Pond of Happiness. But right now, we are in the Ice Palace. So... The pond, it's the pond of happiness to the ice palace. A very drastic change. And the fire rod, of course, is going to come in handy in this palace. So in case, like, if you don't have that, then you better get it. Because you will need it at some point. I don't even know if it's possible to defeat the boss without the fire rod. But anyway, we are going to go through here now. And I, like, really, this, I don't know why, but I think the Ice Palace is very, it just seems really intimidating to me. You know, because it's made out of ice and stuff. And oh my gosh, look at these penguins. Um, I'm going to try to use my sword to take all of these penguins out. I mean, since I have the sword beam, then it should be easy. And a chest appears. What is in the chest? This floor is super slippery. It's so hard to walk in here. It's the compass! Yay! So now we are going to go back in here and let's see which way can I go here. Um, I think I'm going to try going to the store on the right. Oh gosh, um, I I think that yeah. Hold on. I was going to use the bombos medallion to get rid of those, but I think that I'll just use my sword for now, because I don't want to use all of my magic. And I'm going to try to go through the store. Yeah, there's nothing in here. I shouldn't have went in here. Um, yeah, I went in the wrong way. I should have went to a different door. Now... Let's go up here. And in this room, you just want to... Well, first of all, get rid of these guys. Get them out of the way. It's kind of hard, though, because they're so tiny after you hit them the first time. And anyway, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to leave a bomb beside of that switch and then run over there real quick. That way you'll be on the other side when the... when it switches and you'll be able to go in to where the red is. Because of course, there, like, there's a lot of places in here where where you bomb the floor. So that's what we're going to do here. 
and we're going to go inside. Oh, and also, like, this room, you'll, you'll encounter a, this enemy for the first time. I don't know, is this a style foe, or is it a different enemy? Because there's a lot of skeleton dudes in this game. I know that for sure. I, I'm assuming it's a style foe, but anyway, you can just slash it with your sword and then put a bomb beside of it and oh my gosh I hate this room so much like the floor is moving so you know how the floor of the ice palace it's really really slippery right well this floor is like a conveyor belt type of floor and there's spikes everywhere so you're going to run into the spikes a bunch of times it's so so annoying and that, of course I'm getting ready to die so have to hear that annoying beeping sound and I don't know if which way that switch is supposed to be on but I'm just gonna go ahead and switch it and of course of course I switched it the wrong way I should have left it alone but that's what always happens I hate this room too because of this fire thing I wonder if I could get rid of that thing with the ice rod. I've never even used the ice rod. Yeah, of course it didn't work, so I guess not. Yeah, I haven't used the ice rod yet. I'm sure, like, it, it's probably something that I'll have to use in, like, a later dungeon. Because we still have, like, two, I think, two more main dungeons after this before Ganondorf, of course. I'm assuming we're fighting Ganondorf because I think Aghanim was just, like, his minion or something. Okay, now I am definitely using Balmos here. Da 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 da! Penguin fry! Let's fry some penguins, y'all! Look at this. We're going to have a 4th of July barbecue. Okay, I, I'm having a little too much fun with that. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I really like... Um, I really like frying some penguins. Um, I'm going to try going to this door up here first and see what's in here. So basically the floor's falling away, so we have to wait until it finishes. And then we drop down, of course. Let's see, yeah, basically Shasharala, or whatever his name is, he he's telling us that we need magic medicine, you know, in order to go throughout the dungeon and he's basically saying that because we will use a lot of magic later especially when you we use the fire rod because we'll be facing off ag against a bunch of enemies and stuff who are of course frozen since this is the ice palace and I hate I really hate these jelly dudes I'm trying to get rid of them because I don't want I really don't. I'm trying really, really hard not to use another fairy. And I'm pretty much putting off dying as long as possible. Let's see. We need to use the hook shot here. So, there you go. And, uh, I need to go over there. And, of course, the spike hit me. But, oh well. At least we don't have to hear that annoying beeping sound now. And let's go ahead and go on upstairs. Okay, this room... It's pretty easy. You get to do some more hookshot action. And I kind of want that chest over there. I know there's a key in it, but... I want to see what's up... Or down... Is it downstairs or upstairs? I think it was upstairs. But anyway, I want to see what's here first before I 
go that way. You know, because once you go back across, it's hard to get back there again. But I guess I could have... Couldn't I have used the magic cape? Oh well. Anyway, let's see what's in here. See if there's anything good in store for us. And there is, there is a treasure chest. And see, pulling this guy's tongue will make that door open. Okay, we got the map, so... Let's see, I want to go upstairs here. And something's in here. Oh, we got the big key. Okay, so yeah, it was a good thing that I did go through that way because I needed that key. I'm going to do some more penguin fry. <laughs> I love penguin fry. And I think I want to try to get a fairy. Okay, good. I got a fairy while I was at it. Let's see. I need to... It's so hard to walk in here. Um, which way am I supposed to go here? Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to get turned around in this dungeon. And that's not the right way. There's a bunch of penguins in there, and I don't want to roast them because that leads to nowhere. Okay, so basically we're going through here again, and we're going through a lot of the same rooms that we've already been in. So, yeah, this is very, like, deja vu, I guess you could say. Because we're going through pretty much the same stuff. Penguin fry. More penguin fry. I never get tired of that, really. So, now we are back in this room. And I'm going to see what's through this door. It's the same exact room that I was in a little bit ago but now I can actually get what's in the chest so let's go ahead and do that and do I want to go downstairs let's see what's downstairs first it's this room um I don't think I want to do that yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. So, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have just looked at the map because, duh, that would have helped me out a lot. Now I can figure out which room I need to go in. I need to go in this one to the left then. I haven't been in this room yet. Now, this is going to be a task getting to the floor getting across the floor in one piece now we need to go down the stairs here and when you get to this room go ahead put a bomb well first kill this guy what the freaking heck I totally aimed at you oh well Come on, die! Die! There. That one was a tough one. I mean, he was right up on me and I couldn't even get my fire rod on him. So anyway, you want to go in this hole first. And if you go in here, you will get the blue mail, which is kind of like the blue tunic. Only it serves a different function than the one from Ocarina of Time and some of the other games. And the blue tunic basically lets you... It makes you just really, really strong. So, okay, good. I got a fairy. 
and yes, and I mean it doesn't it doesn't make you strong strong. What I meant to say was it reduces the damage you take. So I guess you have like a tougher exterior. That's what I meant to say. And I hate these rooms that have these ghosts going across and all this other crap going on. Um, crap. I got hit by that fire thing, which was totally taken from Super Mario Brothers. And I need to hit the switch here. Come on. Let's see. Um, is there not anything over here? I guess there isn't. Okay, um... Hmm. Let's go back through here, I guess. And... We are in... We are going to go in this room now. Let's go ahead and see what's in the boss door. Because I know we need to come back to that room that we were just in. But... First, let's go through here, because I know we need to hit a switch or something. So that we can get that... The blue... The blue blocks down. And... Um... Let's see, I'm not gonna bother getting that fairy, because... In a little bit, we'll actually find a fairy fountain. Come on! Die! Let's go ahead and see what's under that skull. As soon as I'm trying to get rid of distractions here. These guys keep popping up. And really, I don't think I can't yeah, I can't get that door to open until we have a block or something to put on, to put over it. So, yeah. And of course, yeah, I turned into a bunny again. Um, okay, that, that room's really nice because we also get some free items and stuff. But yeah, um, one thing is, like, if you've played Misery Mire before you did the Ice Palace, and, you know, Misery Mire is actually the next dungeon after this, so, if you, if you played that first, then you will pick up an item called the Cane of Samaria, and that allows you to make a red block appear. So if you have that item, you can actually put a red block over that switch and you could have already went through the door and skipped all of this stuff. So I just thought I, I would point that out. Because, you know, because a lot of you might want to do that. But you have to play that other, you have to do that other dungeon first before you do this one. Which can be kind of tough because considering you won't have the blue tunic for that one. But I mean everything's possible, you know. And I think I'm going to grab another fairy because... I don't know, I might need one at some point. And let's see, there, there's something I'm missing. I am totally stupid, guys. I did not realize that that door at the bottom was there. I feel like I should have went through this door already, but I didn't, and I didn't even realize it. And yeah, I think I better go ahead and get some more fairies, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back from getting fairies, and of course it was a lot of trouble, but it'll be worth it, I guess, when I do the boss battle and I'll have a bunch of fairies and stuff. 
So that's nice. Now, let's see. I know there's something under that skull over there. I want that magic jar. Okay, yeah, there's another key. And I know a lot of the rooms that I went in probably weren't. I don't even know if some of the rooms were necessary. Because it seems like in this game there's a lot of dungeons that have rooms that you don't even need to go in. But, oh well, I mean, it's, it's part of the journey. And come on, those guys are really bugging me. Okay, I need to go in this door. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this room looks familiar. Um, let's see. I need to kill this penguin. There, okay. So apparently the hookshot easily kills those penguins. And, oh, <laughs> that penguin looks so scary when it opens its mouth. Oh my gosh. Now, I know there is a switch under one of these skulls here. That's not it. Um, hmm, maybe it's one of these? Let's try it, just to see. Okay, so we, I think we're supposed to go in this door. I don't know, but we can try it. If I can get over there without slipping. Okay, um, yeah, I haven't fallen in this hole yet, so... Oh, um, I feel like I shouldn't... Wait a minute, okay, this is actually a good thing. Because this is where I want to be, so... What I can do now is hopefully... I know it's one of the blocks on this side. If you push it into this hole... Then it ends up right here. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is perfect. Okay, so it turns out that that, that was the block I wanted to push down because now we can push that block onto the switch. Which makes me very happy because I thought that I had screwed up when I fell into that hole. You know, the one where the blue mail was. And really, I wonder if I could have... I don't know. I wonder if I could have done that a long time ago. I probably could have, but... I don't know. I had to pick up the big key and stuff, too. And I can't even remember if I got that before I went to that room or not. But it doesn't matter now because we are almost to the end, guys. This is the room before the boss fight. And I'm just trying to get rid of all these guys because they're really annoying. I don't want them in my way. And this is, I'm like really happy right now because this is actually the furthest that I've made it in the game. Like I think when I first played the game, I only made it to like Skull Woods or Gargoyle's Domain. Like, I never made it past those dungeons, but here I am. This is exciting, and we have to fight a giant eyeball. How original. So as soon as you drop down here, shoot your fire rod at the sky. Continually shoot it. And, okay, good. I thought I was going to run out of magic. And... When, once you do that, you want to avoid the hail that's falling down from the ceiling. And really the best way to go is to try to get a hit with your fire rod because that kills these guys much quicker. But unfortunately I don't have enough magic power so I have to use my handy dandy sword and the hook shot didn't help at all so I have to use my sword and it, I, it probably takes a lot of hits before these guys go down but that's okay oh one of them already went down and 
but like this boss reminds me of the boss that was from the Swamp Temple because it was like a jellyfish that had a big eyeball on it and there were things that were coming off of it and you know this was a giant eyeball with a bunch of well just a few eyeballs coming off of that so this game really likes eyeballs but anyway, we've rescued the next maiden, so let's see what she has to say. Jade Panda, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. They say the Hylia people controlled mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the Hylia has become thin over time. He who carry the blood of the seven. Wise men do not possess strong power anymore either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate of the castle linking the world opens completely. If you defeat Gan, and this world will vanish and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Okay, wait a minute. Is she saying that the Dark World will be destroyed? I mean, that does that mean that the people who lives there are going to all die? I don't even know. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Hopefully, the world doesn't end before then.